in fact, in high school, I already decided to become a, a professional mathematician. So that was when I was maybe around 16 years old. I read a lot of books in that stage, but mm -hmm. I also got this idea that just reading is not enough for me. It just doesn't satisfy me. I have to create also new mathematics. You need some intuition to progress. Uh, in a way, you, f you have a feeling that maybe you are going in the, the, the right direction and then, of course, you have to prove that you are going in the right direction. So you spend months, but if you don't get anywhere, then maybe it is a sign that you are not going in the, di the, the right direction. Maybe you have to um, go back or at some point in the process, you have to change your direction, maybe. It is, in a way, it's a part of, of the whole game, and it's, it's not actually so easy just to decide where to give up. In some sense, if, if you have a, a group of varieties and they, they are bounded, that means that they share many properties. They, and many of their invariants of their numerical data attached to them somehow are in a finite set. But uh, as I said, it's also related to many other things. So, for example, related to understanding singularities, related to uh, the so-called termination conjecture and then the minimal model conjecture related to stability of final varieties and uh, I think that's what I like about the problem that, that I work. They're just somehow related to, to so many different things that I don't feel like I'm working in just one isolated problem. Much of the time spend, I spend on thinking about just maybe getting a new idea somehow, do something new.